All right, y'all, so I wanted to do a quick walk around of the boat. This is a Pelican Bass Raider 10, and I'll go ahead and start with the trailer. It is a Harbor Freight trailer. It's a, like a 1,000, 1,100 pound capacity uh, foldable trailer. Uh, the only modifications I did to this was I put plywood decking on it with some outdoor carpet, um, put a rail system on it with, uh, with bunkers to keep it from sliding around. Um, while I'm trailering it and I put a jack on it so that's all uh, the boat itself uh, where to start we'll start with the motor at the Minn Kota um, 50 pound thrust it's plenty for me um, I definitely wouldn't go any lower because when I've got this boat loaded down with me another person battery and everything else um, I'm definitely glad I've got 50 pound thrust so I wouldn't go any lower than that um, I've got a Garmin fish finder on it it's a traditional and down view. Um, I highly recommend it. It was 170 bucks, and it was super simple to put together, mount, and everything. Um, that runs this way with the transducer down here. That's how I decided to mount it. Um, over here, I've got a waterproof Bluetooth speaker uh, that I can take on and, and put off. I just used a camera mount or a tripod mount that I got off eBay or uh, Amazon for like six, seven bucks. And uh, I put one there. I put one at the back of the boat as well, uh, just because. And then I've got a little lanyard here with waterproof spot for my iPhone. Um, down farther here, um, put a paddle on there. Don't anticipate ever running out of juice on the lake, but you never know. So um, this paddle is nice just because it's exp expandable and it's got a hook on the end so I can you know, reach up, grab stuff, pull the boat into the dock when I'm getting close. Uh, it's got rod holders on either side that I installed. Um, basically just drilled a hole down into these, or into the, the hull, used a whole bunch of silicone underneath it. And, um, and now, like that one set up over there, now I control without having to worry about it. If you look, um, you can use the rod straps um, to go over the top of it just to make sure that nothing pulls it out. I don't think it will without it, but um, I put on there just in case, but I put these on there and I put that on there. Um, I've got a rope down here. It is currently hooked just with a carabiner. Um, I use that when I'm launching and, uh, and I hook it to the back of the, the car uh, to keep it from sliding off the trailer when I'm backing down. And then I just hook, use that to, as a dock line when I need it. Over here, I've got an anchor pole. Um, what this is, this is a, uh, this is actually a piece of fiberglass, a 10 foot piece of fiberglass I bought from Granger. And it's probably, I think it's three quarter inch. Um, I wrapped the top portion of it with electrical tape and put a PVC T handle on, just epoxied that onto the end of it. And, um, and what I can do with that is I can either use this paracord that I've got with a carabiner. Uh, I can just, stick it down in the ground and anchor it off to whatever corner I want. Or what, um, or what else I can do is back at the back of the boat. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark. There's a hole, um, drain plug. And at the one inch drain plug, I can just stick it down through there and, uh, and hold the boat in place. Um, my chair, um, I tried using this height chair for a while, it just, being out there all day it just gets uncomfortable so I got the, the seat riser on it and uh, it made a huge difference really like it um, hung my glasses on there because I tend to forget those so I got an extra pair I always keep on there with a um, with a buff in there as well I got a fish rag and I got nippers these nippers I don't know if you've used them uh, boomerang tool company um, they're pretty awesome they cut everything cut braid real easy um, just a little turkey hunting seat goes on top and it just straps underneath so it doesn't go anywhere and that makes it a little more comfortable and then I put that up there I've used it a couple times no issue with wind or anything surprisingly but all I did was I just drilled down into it and pushed it down in until it stuck um, so friction is pretty much holding that in but I haven't had any issues I, it was kind of windy the other day and I thought it was gonna blow out but I had no issues with it and it's nice just to have some shade out there and if it starts raining, I got rain protection too. Um, and then when I'm trolling, 
I can have one rod out right here, one rod out right there, and I can put one rod up behind me um, or way back behind the boat. So again, kind of double duty on that. Um, I put magnets on different parts of the boat. Um, just use silicone to stick in there, and that way I can keep my uh, keep my some of my tools handy. Uh, this right here is the fish finder. That work uh, I fish that through the the hull all the way to the front. I'll show you where that came out. It actually comes out the side up here. I was tired of everything. I didn't want any more wires and stuff up at my feet. So I had it come out on that side and I don't foresee any problems, but uh, but that's why I've got it coming out for the power cord for the fish finder. And then that just plugs into here. This is a, uh, a Minn Kota battery center. Get a little more light. Uh, Minn Kota battery center. What's nice about this is it's got breakers in it that protects um, both the trolling motor that hooks up right here and any accessories I've got. Um, and then I can also test all them out on the water and see how much I need. Um, what else? I got a little bit of paracord on there. I never know when I need paracord, so I like throwing paracord on there. Uh, but that's the Minn Kota Battery Center. Now, for my rudder, this is all custom. Uh, basically what I did, I took three pieces of plywood, uh, put them all, uh, screwed them all together, and on the back I've got a gate hinge with a piece of a broom handle, and then down here is a piece of wood, or a piece of metal, uh, stainless steel, and I plasti dip sprayed the entire thing. So if I'm going and I run something over, this will flex backwards, and it, it won't bend or break or come to a screech and halt. I've just got a bungee cord holding that in place. Um, when I'm launching and I wanna keep this up, I've got this on there. Basically what this is, if I can do it one-handed, it goes around and hooks onto that little screw right there. So, um, and this cord right here comes down, hooks around this. Because when you're turning in the boat, you turn really sharp, it will actually make this whole thing, I'll show you, actually make this whole thing lift from side to side. And uh, I didn't particularly like that. I was afraid I was gonna lose it. So, um, so I put that on there. And it's been working great ever since. Um, my trolling motor is wired through the hull as well. Comes out right here. Wires come up to here. And then uh, hook on to the front of the, the trolling motor battery. Um, like I said, this, uh, this trolling motor battery is wired on the inside so that I've got easy access to these knobs on the outside. And I never have to take it out and mess with it. So... That is pretty much it. Um, oh, deck. I put a deck in here. Um, this is a, I thought this was a huge upgrade. One of, one of my favorite parts about the boat. Uh, it just makes it so much easier to walk around um, and stand up in here. And then something else I did that was kind of different. Let's get this out of the way. about that something I did here I like to fly fish too um, I like to pitch baits and stuff like that so um, what I can do with this if I want to is I can actually grab this lift this up turn it sideways and it's an elevated casting platform and that's this part is three quarter inch um, treated plywood uh, and it gets me you know it gets me almost a foot higher uh, in order to, to get a little bit better um, better view of where I'm wanting to fish and, and pitch baits and stuff like that. But um, that was a, uh, that's nice having that ability to, to have that as well. So, and then this right here, I found that I just, I get into the mud and stuff like that when I'm launching the boat from shores and stuff. So I put that in there just to help kind of capture all that. That way I can shake that out a little easier. So, but again, that's uh, that's the boat. Um, any questions you guys got? Um, leave some comments down in the, the comment section. I'll see if I can answer uh, answer them and help you out. If you got one of these, be more than happy to offer any any insights I've got on it.
Thanks. Take care.